Hello everybody and welcome to the Kaiju Cave. We're going to be having a figure review today with the Marmot 2004 Parababy Gurion. This is a spectacular Sofube figure. Man, you want to talk about being happy to get an auction win on Yahoo Japan. This guy right here has eluded me for a while. He's very pretty. I got him for his uh, photo shoot here with the original 1970s issued Gurion. Hello, Sophia. Never fails, y'all. I do a video. Dog wants a spotlight. Now, I love the Nito. Nito. Love him. But, uh, man, I'm in love with the Para Baby. Um, this guy right here is awesome. Whenever I got him, he was in an odd little pose. There's his marking. He was in the oddest little pose, man, and it took me forever to get him just right. But man, just how spectacular. And like his little knees, you just you have to hold him in your hand literally to see, you know, um what I'm talking about. Because he was bent he was bent up in such a weird, weird ass pose that I was like, what? I was like, this is it? But finally, when I got him posed and like I stood back and like saw him, he, it's really cool. They got the expression down. They got the nails down. The look, the overall vibe, overall, overall. A ninja shooting, knife-headed pit bull from another planet. Don't get no better. It's another original Nito. It's a original Nito and I love these guys because you can see the battle worn you know ness to them the history to them it's his markings for you yeah man this is one of my all time favorite kaijus love Girion Giron Girion I believe that's the correct, the correct pronunciation Girion Giron another Nito And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share the Marmot Para Baby. Hope I'm saying that right. Look at his paw. You don't have that on every one. The one showing. That's it. And he had the tusk like Gamera. The Dai monsters are so much more vicious, in my opinion. You know, sometimes in the Toho Beast, you know, like... I know a lot of stuff happened in the Toho films and stuff, but Gurian is the only kaiju that diced up another one, beheaded a kaiju on screen. And then he was going to eat it, but he didn't like it, and he acted like it stunk. That was Gauss that he killed, for you kids that haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it, Gamera vs. Gurian. Get past the little kitty scenes, get past all that. And to see it for what it is, it's kaiju movies, it's tokusatsu movies. Get into it, love it. It's good. It's deep imaginative stuff. Good science fiction. And uh, I just screw up with them, you know. My mother uh, got me the VHS's, the Sandy Frank versions is what I grew up with. And I know a lot of my buddies grew up watching them on television. But the Gamera movies are awesome, I'm a Gamera fan. This is a neat Gamera piece. I added it to a Gamera corner over there that I'm going to, you know, do more stuff of. But I'm going to close this out. Peace, love, and kaijus from the Kaiju Cave. Y'all stick around. Hit the like button, subscribe button. I really appreciate y'all. Um, hit me up if anybody's got anything for sale or moving, you know, um, anything like that. Love y'all. Take care. Peace, love, and kaijus from the Kaiju Cave. Thanks.